Another question of the day. Does God ever call us to do nothing? So the setup for this is really quick because I always like to ask the question and then ask you to respond. When I say to do nothing, I mean do nothing in the religious sense. Does God always want us out there doing things? And if you've been in religion a while, you, if you haven't been super busy, as in quote, leadership or volunteer and outreach, all these things, you definitely know people who do such things and they're very, very busy. And people tend to, if not idolize them, they look up to them and exalt them and lift them up and say, wow, praise brother and sister so-and-so because they do such and such. And the assumption seems to be that that's what we're all called to do. We're all called to be as busy as we can. There's this great commission to go out there and save souls. So you bunch of soul winners, get out there and get to work and do whatever you can. If you're not sure what to do, well, just do something. Just be involved because you'll be busy and that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be busy in the Lord. And I reject that. We reject that. We don't believe in that because what God has called us to do is to come to him. His call is to come to me. That's what we believe. His call is to come to him, to know him, to see his heart, to investigate, to search, to find, to start to see who your God actually is and how much he loves you. Now, is that gonna result in you doing this, that, and the other? It probably will, it probably will. I mean, my life is not a boring life. I do a lot of stuff, but that's not what it's all about. I am at rest, I'm at constant rest. And whether I'm doing something or not, I am resting in the love of my Father because that's what he offers me. He is the one who saves souls. He is the one who does the work. That's why when he stood here on the earth, he said, I don't do anything except the Father does it first. So you should go in there and read those scriptures or see things like that. He said, I don't even say anything except he says it first or the Father does the works, so on and so forth. So if you would take that literally, there's two people doing two different things or it's an enigmatic type of speech that Jesus used to illustrate who he was. And every so often he just pop up and say, hey, see me, you've seen the Father. So he just made that clear. He was living the perfect life of rest that he's called us to. Do we do it perfectly? Of course not. The point is, is he was illustrating that he wasn't at work as the son. The Father was doing all the work through him. The Father was the one who was always doing it. And that's what's, what happens when you rest in the love of your Father. You're, you're not busy as in, I must do this and I must do that. No, I must rest in my father's love. When I'm in my father's love, he's gonna make it clear what I need to do and then I walk by faith and not by sight. As in, faith is, I listen to my father, I love my father, my father loves me, we live together and when he tells me to do something, I do it. It's very simple, it's very clear. Until and unless I hear something from him, I don't worry about it because I'm not the one saving souls, he is. That's walking by faith. Walking by sight is getting that building, getting that denomination, get that uniform on, get that right attitude, deny yourself, leave your comfort zone, all these cliches they use, which basically just means get to work. So whatever you get from work is wages. You earned it. But what he gives is something you can't earn. It's his love. He just gives it to you. And when he gives it to you, yeah, you're gonna be changed and you're probably gonna do all kinds of things you never thought you could do, but that's not the point. It'll never be the point because it's not gonna be about failure or, or, or success or performance or any of those things. It's just gonna be, hey, I live with my father and that's what it is. I might do nothing tomorrow. I don't know. I'm gonna be with my father. That's all I know. I may be the busiest person you ever see in your life. That's not the point either. The point is, is you're with him and you're always resting with, when you're with him. So live, you want a life full of freedom, live with your father. You want a, want a life of being busy, get in religion and get to it and start obeying and be as empty as you can be. But I, I think you ought to try the first one. It's a lot better. In Jesus name. Amen.